Hello everybody! Welcome to Stories by Shelley. It's so good to see you. Hi! Oh, I see you've picked a dinosaur story. Oh, I love these. Please give it a thumbs up if you really like this story. It's called Dinosaur Adventures Stegosaurus. The Thoughtful Surprise. Written by Catherine Vitch and illustrated by Barbara Bacos. Let's see what it's all about. Stegosaurus, the thoughtful surprise. And these are all the little dinosaurs that we're going to meet along the way. So let's see. We've got Sunny, the Stegosaurus. We've got Aline, the Apatiosaurus. We've got Ali, the Archeo Turex. Jag, the Jur... Juravinator, the Juravinator, <laughs> and there is the Compsognathus and the Trovosaurus. Oh, lots of different kinds of dinosaurs. Do you have a favorite dinosaur? There once was a Stegosaurus called Sunny who lived with his family near a swamp. Oh, lots of mud there. The family used to live deep in the forest, but a mean Trovosaurus chased them from their cave. Rawr! Sonny tried not to make a fuss about moving to a new cave, but he really did miss his old home. <laughs> He was often so lost in his own thoughts that he didn't look to where he was going. Be careful, shouted an angry Comsognathus as Sonny almost flattened him. Ah, don't stomp on him. Sonny didn't listen properly either. Mind the puddle be behind you, his sister cried as Sonny toppled over. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Splash! Oh, oh dear! He fell right into the puddle. And Sonny would forget what he was told so often his family thought his ears were stuffed with moss. <laughs> Remember, don't eat the... said Sonny's dad. Ew! <laughs> Spluttered Sonny. I forgot that moss tastes bitter. Oh dear. He forgot his dad told him not to eat the moss. One day, dad said, What is it that keeps your mind so busy? It took a while for Sonny to find the right words. Oh, I think about lots of things, Sonny replied. But mostly, I think about our old home. I think about being chased away from our cave. And I think about my old friends, he said. And it makes me sad. Sonny's dad thought, what, thought about what his son had told him. The next morning, dad said, What if you promise to be careful? Why don't you visit your old friends? Oh, wasn't that a wonderful idea? So Sonny carefully headed back towards his old home and he soon found his friend Ali, the Archaeopteryx. Oh, wow, there they are. They spent a lovely morning playing together. Oh, they had so much fun. But soon it was time to go home again. As Sonny left, his tail sparks caught a few of Ali's colourful feathers and they stuck to Sonny's tail. But the friends didn't even notice and they said their goodbyes. Bye-bye. Sonny was tired but so happy when he got back to his cave. You can go out again tomorrow as long as you're careful, said Dad, picking the feathers from Sonny's tail. The next day, 
Sonny ambled back through the forest and found his friend Alina, the Apatiosaurus. Oh, Alina was just about to eat, so they shared some juicy fern leaves together. Oh, yum, 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 yum. As soon as Sonny turned to go, he brushed past some more ferns and a few got stuck on his back plates. But the friends didn't notice and they said their goodbyes. Bye! See you again soon! Each time Sonny went out for the day, he came back to the cave a little happier. This cave almost feels like home now, he said as he wandered in to settle down for the night. Look, there's his dad picking the leaves off his plates. The next day, Sonny walked down to the seashore to visit his friend Jag, the juvenator. At the beach, they dug some big holes and found some shiny shells. As Sonny turned to go, his tail swooshed the shells and some flew up into the air and landed between his back plates. But the friends didn't notice and they said their goodbyes. But when Sonny got back to the cave, his dad wouldn't let him in. Hey, Dad, why can't I come in? It's a surprise, said Dad, picking the shells off his son's back plates. Just give me a few minutes. Bang, bang, scrape, crash. Bang, bang, scrape, crash. Came from inside the cave. What was dad up to? Sonny tried to imagine what his dad might be making. A dinosaur time machine? Oh, maybe a giant forest fun fair. What do you think his dad is making? Oh, that could be something fun. Oh, I like that idea as well. Yes, I wonder if it's one of those. <gasps> Moments later, Sonny and his sister stood in the middle of their cave and their mouths were wide open. <gasps> Dad had used all the feathers, ferns and shells to decorate the cave. Look how beautiful it looks. Every time you visited your friends, you came back with something stuck on you, laughed Dad. Our cave looks amazing, he smiled. I won't feel sad now. There's something from all of my old friends in my new home. <laughs> the end. Did you like that story? Have you moved to a new home? And do you sometimes feel lonely and miss your old friends? That's a good idea to bring back something to remind, your, remind you of your friends and your old house, hey? Well, I hope you enjoyed the story today, everybody. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.